When we talk about elder abuse, we're really talking about abuse of older people within a trust relationship. Now, that abuse can take all forms. It can be financial, which is the most common in Australia, uh, but it also can have uh, verbal abuse, physical abuse, sexual abuse, unfortunately. Um, it can also extend to things like social isolation, neglect, and all of these occur in a hidden way within a trust relationship. Somebody you think you should be able to rely upon to look after you, but they're using that in order to abuse you. When we think about abuse in Australia, and elsewhere I suppose, but in Australia is where I've, I've focused my attention, it's part of um, a triptych. Um, and we have developed the other two arms of the triptych up to such an, a point now where the general public is aware of it and it has actually recalibrated their social values. And I'm talking about child abuse. People are now well aware that child abuse happens. It's not just hidden business anymore. It is a public concern. Domestic violence, particularly against women, um, and particularly against older women, is now a, a public concern. Elder abuse is the third arm of that triptych of horror that actually is perpetrated by people who should be able to be trusted and they do this to people who cannot defend themselves. Now, that's why it's such um, a huge issue for Australia. We can't let this shape our social values. We are better than that. We, we have social values that enshrine equity and fairness and mateship, etc. You hear the politicians going on about it all the time. We need to make sure that this kind of hidden, pervasive rot does not actually start undermining our social values because it is becoming normalised. It is happening so often and we hear about it so often that we think this is the way people normally behave. Well, it's not and it's got to stop. We need a prevalent study done nationally. We actually need more research funding to be allocated to highlighting uh, different aspects of this. What is causing this, this movement towards abusing older people? and stripping of their assets and exploiting them. Um, what is the resent where is the resentment coming from? What is causing that? It can't just be bigotry. It can't just be discrimination. So there must be something more. But we do need more social research into this so that we know what we're dealing with, so that we can be more effective in doing something about it and preventing it. The normative gap is something that we need to become acquainted with because it means that the laws do exist, they're just not being enforced. And we need people to start identifying the laws that could apply in certain situations and encouraging those who are supposed to be enforcing those laws to do something about it.